What's up guys? Today we're going to learn the rhetorical tools known as epistrophe, anaphora, anastrophe, polysyndeton, and asyndeton. Let's start off with epistrophe. Epistrophe is defined as the repetition of a word or phrase at the end of successive clauses. Epistrophe can be used in order to make a phrase emphatic. Here's a good example of epistrophe in the classic war movie pattern from actor George C. Scott. You see that? I want you to remember that no bastard ever won war by dying for his country. He won it by making the other poor dumb bastard die for his country. Now the opposite of epistrophe is anaphora, which is a repetition of a word or a phrase at the beginning of successive clauses. It is also used as a tool to make speech emphatic. Here's an example of anaphora for one of my favorite movies, The Big Lebowski. I want to make something play. I don't like you sucking around bothering our citizens, Lebowski. I don't like your jerk off name. I don't like your jerk off face, I don't like your jerk off behavior, and I don't like you jerk off. Do I make myself clear? I'm sorry, I wasn't listening. <laughs> Ow! Fucking fat! Now that we're done with epistrophe and anaphora, let's move on to anastrophe, which really isn't related to the last two terms. <laughs> Anastrophe, simply put, is when words are said out of order or in a backwards manner that is still understandable. Few people have mastered the art of anastrophe like Yoda from the Star Wars movies has. Here are a few examples from the Green King of Anastrophe. There's much to learn you still have. Not if anything to say about it. I am. Come on, little fellow, we got a lot of work to do. No, no, no. Stay and help you, I will. You seek Yoda. You know. Take it to him, I will. <laughs> yes, yes, but now you must eat. Come. <laughs> Good food. <laughs> Moving on from anastrophe, polysyndeton is when there's a sentence with many conjunctions. When used as a rhetorical tool, polysyndeton may be used to deliberately separate and slow down listing or other description, as a conjunction separate and highlight each item mentioned. If done well, it can serve to create connection and flow. If done badly, it creates monotony and loses meaning. Polysyndeton is also common in verbal speech, where a person extends a sentence by using multiple conjunctions. Here's an example of polysyndeton from the unmistakable Catherine Hepburn in Lion in the Winter. Oh, my piglets, we are the origins of war. Not history's forces, nor the times, nor justice, nor the lack of it, nor causes, nor religions, nor ideas, nor kinds of government, nor any other thing. We are the killers. We breed wars. We carry it like syphilis inside. Dead bodies rot in field and stream because the living ones are rotten. For the love of God, can't we love one another just a little? That's how peace begins. Just like the first two rhetorical tools presented, polysyndeton has its opposite as well, which is known as asyndeton. Asyndeton differs from polysyndeton because it is when there is a long sentence with no conjunctions, as opposed to many. Asyndeton can be used as a form of light emphasis because the lack of conjunctions forced the listener to review what was just said. In written text, asyndeton can be picked up because a comma or a semicolon replaces the place where a conjunction should be. The most common form of asyndeton is the omission of and in a list. Asyndeton done well is to the point indirect. Done poorly, it is harsh and staccato. Here's an example of asyndeton that can be seen in the slogan of the Marines. The few, the proud, the Marines.